Hello, I'm Dr. Missick. Today we're going to talk about the Bum Steer Award. Now, there's a magazine called Texas Monthly, and every year they give an award of disgrace to whoever they think is most deserving of it. And this year they very oddly awarded it to Dan Patrick, which is insane. The problem is the Texas Monthly is a far left publication. And if anyone deserved the Bump Steer Award this year, it would be Dave Feeling. And why would I say that? Well, there's many, many reasons why. Uh, one reason is that he was drunk uh, on the floor. He's presiding over the Texas State uh, Legislature, and he's drunk, slurring his speech. Um, but as a Republican, he's failed. Uh, he's obstructed pro-Republican legislation. He throws in his lot with the Democrats. He maintains power and control of the Texas House to the Democrats, even though the Republicans have a majority. Uh, and as a sign of his incompetence, his un unwillingness or inability to pass legislation, there were three special sessions this year, which reflects, reflects poorly on Dade Phelan. And then you had this, this complete and utter fiasco of impeaching Ken Paxton. And they spent, they wasted Texas taxpayers' money, at least $4 million, probably three times that much. And what were they impeaching uh, the Attorney General Ken Paxton over? Uh, it came down to countertops in the kitchen. I mean, it's absurd. And uh, it's just a big waste of time. And worse than that, there's a lot of things going on with this terrible Biden administration and Ken Pax has been a very effective Attorney General, uh, successfully opposing uh, the Biden administration's disastrous policies. Uh, and he was taken out of the battle for several months. We needed Ken Pax in there advancing the conservative agenda, fighting back against the disastrous, destructive policies of the Biden administration. So they took him out of action. So um, <laughs> why... Why was Dave Phelan not named Bum Steer? Because he's an, an effect, he's ineffectual, he's incompetent, uh, he's a disaster, a Speaker of the House. Uh, he was censured. Dave Phelan was censured uh, by Liberty County Republicans. Uh, so if anybody deserves this badge of disgrace and dishonor, it would be Dave Phelan. And it's very possible that Dave Phelan is going to be voted out of, of office in his House district. So why did they give it to Dan Patrick? I mean, what, what did Dan Patrick do to the, the level uh, of, of getting the Bump Steer Award? Nothing, really. I mean, I, I'm sure you could find things that he didn't do, but he could have done, or certain things he could have done better. But nothing, nothing to the level of, uh, of Dave Phelan. Nothing compares to that. Uh, and this just shows the, the left-wing bias of... Texas Monthly. You know, it's kind of a shame. I think there's a need for a monthly or just a, uh, a magazine about Texas uh, for Texans. And I think I heard Michael Berry talking about, well, they got good restaurant reviews. But, uh, I, you know, I'm saying that the line at the supermarket, so I pick up a, a Texas Monthly, and I find their articles highly partisan and even offensive like degrading and demeaning the heroes of the Alamo, historical revisionism. This is a very, very extreme publication. I don't know about their food recommendation, restaurant reviews, and things like that. Uh, but I believe it's necessary. It's very needful. When I win uh, this race, one of the things I want to do is uh, we have to start an alternative Texas magazine. And uh, I think we're going to start off with Texan Quarterly. Uh, to have a publication that actually represents Texas and you know represents Texas and values and celebrates Texas and its history, uh, to push back against this. It's a garbage, garbage publication. It's just, I mean, looking at Texas Monthly, this has been, you know, I've been looking at it from here and there for years. I mean, it's nauseating, nauseating how extreme they are. And uh, we're starting to see, um, we have to create alternatives. And uh, I'll give an example. Like we have house races, it's the uh, the Texas the left wing Texas Tribune that <laughs> if you want to look at the maps and 
the candidates and who's winning and how much they win. It's the Texas Tribune that puts all that out. And uh, so if you want information, you have to rely on left-wing Marxist publications, garbage publications like uh, Texas Tribune, propaganda sites for the, the, the radical left. Uh, so now we got the Texas scorecard, and uh, we need to do more to create uh, alternatives so that we don't have to rely on... Uh, and, and, you know, it's really, it's, it's offensive. Here we are, Texas, Texas. And, uh, you know, we're, we're subjected to Texas Monthly. And, I mean, the, the level of, of absurdity of not naming Dave Phelan as the bum steer of the year. Uh, I mean, what, what else could he do? I mean, getting drunk on the stand, uh, you know, or, or as he's presiding as the, uh, uh, as the Speaker of the House. Uh, you know, just, just gross incompetence and negligence. Uh, inability to lead, inability to pass legislation. Uh, I mean, the, the man is just a, an object of, of, of ridicule and scorn at this point, uh, especially by Republicans who, you know, see the man's true colors. So, uh, I guess if, if I'm able to get in office and, and start my magazine, that's one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to bestow the honor or dishonor of our equivalent of the Bumsteer Award upon the man who deserves it most, Dave Phelan. So we as conservatives, as Christians, as Christian conservatives, as social conservatives, we have to engage the culture. And, uh, you know, it's like uh, people on the left, they're devoted. I guess part of it is they don't have a, a job or a real life. <laughs> people, conservatives actually have to, you know, they, they have a family to take care of and, and work and job and obligations. But uh, since we've just, uh, we haven't been engaging the left and uh, we've just allowed them to take over all the institution powers. We're suffering. We're suffering from it. You know, we've bequeathed, uh, you know, the academia and entertainment and journalism, and now we're we're in peril. The, the The survival of our country is in peril because we've just been so apathetic and indifferent, and we've allowed the left to dominate. Now they're destroying uh, this country. And it's, it's how do we fight back against this? Like you, you. Uh, allow them to take over all the institutions of power, and now what are we going to do to fight back? Uh, but we have to. We have to fight back, and uh, we see starting to see people get organized and uh, push back. And uh, one of the things we have to do, which people don't do, is just call these leftists out for what they are, like like a Texas Monthly. I mean, it's a garbage publication. It's offensive. And uh, we need to acknowledge it for what it is, speak the truth, and then create alternatives so we can compete compete in the marketplace of ideas. Something that's very vital for us to do is for the sake of our state, the United States of America, our children, humanity, and the future. So let's get involved, stand up for what Texas represents, what America represents, and fight uh, to carry on the legacy of liberty and freedom. Uh, pass that legacy on to our, our children, but hold up the banner of freedom to inspire the rest of the world to be free and prosperous. Because the system we create in the United States based on the Bible works. It creates freedom and opportunity. That's what we should want for everybody, all Americans and uh, everybody around the world. So thank you. God bless you.